changing flood risks for some counties across North Carolina. Thank you for joining us for the news at 11. I'm Vanessa Rufus and I'm Colin Mayfield. Officials are updating the flood maps, including those for Union County, where just days ago firefighters had to make three rescues after homeowners were trapped by high waters there. The new maps show areas officials say are flood plains and properties most prone to flooding. Leaders in Union County have met to share the changes with neighbors and WCNC Charlotte's Tradisha Woodard was there to share the impacts with you now. When it rains, it pours and for some it floods. Union County leaders have mailed hundreds of letters to county property owners whose properties were affected by the proposed changes, according to this updated digital flood map. And today they held a meeting for the folks affected. Every so often the state of North Carolina um, remaps those those floodplains. So this was their opportunity to come out and, and learn more about the process, what's going on. They say the amount of floodplain in the county has overall increased, but changes in water streams, creeks and other waterways can switch up which properties are affected. That means buildings that are currently outside the floodplain could now be inside and buildings that are currently inside a floodplain could be removed. If your house is in a floodplain and you have a mortgage, you're required to carry flood insurance. Um, but if you're not in a floodplain, if your house is not impacted, but maybe your property is, you might want to know that. County leaders say the goal is to inform folks and protect their property. They say being in a floodplain could increase your risk of flooding, require flooding insurance and could place restrictions on what you can and cannot build on your property. So if folks want to build a storage building or a pool or a house and they own a piece of property, they need to know how these changes may impact what they want to do. Tradisha Woodard, WCNC Charlotte. Now there will be ways to appeal the floodplain designation for your property, but FEMA has not chosen that start date yet.